Okay, guys. Well, I was going through one of my bags from when I moved. And I found a whole bunch of more than this, but a whole bunch of more lipsticks. But they smell horrible. I'm going to get rid of them. Um, there's three brushes that are actually horrible. If y'all can tell from the bristles on these brushes, look at that one. Nothing I can do with these. I'm going to throw them away. I have a lot of brushes. Um, this one too. Just going to throw it away. Um, but I'm going to get rid of some of my, some of these because they smell when they, when lipstick and lip gloss start smelling like Play-Doh, that's when you know it's bad. So this is Gerard Cosmetics Kamichi doll. And these are probably, if y'all might remember, I probably had some of these since before when I came back from Georgia. So these are like five years old. So here's another Gerard Cosmetics. I remember when Gerard Cosmetics came out, um, Here's another Gerard Cosmetics. I think they were one of the first ones to come out with the mirror. Y'all remember with the mirror and the and the light up? It don't even light up no more. Remember the light would come on and you could light up and put it on? Yeah. Beautiful colors and stuff too. This was buttercream, y'all. Um, This is an eyeshadow from Avon. This is a Urban Decay Gloss in Liar. Y'all remember Liar was very very popular liar was ooh, you don't want to smell that all day on your lips um this was a bare minerals bare minerals fly high i don't even know if they make bare minerals anymore this is oh this came from a makeup show so i think this is about three or four years old this came from a makeup show this came from a beauty supply. Nope, Victoria's Secret. This is Victoria's Secret Peekaboo. I know y'all remember that. Peekaboo used to have everybody running to get Peekaboo, baby. I would buy Peekaboo again. I just let it go bad. This actually don't smell too bad. But I know it's old. I ain't gonna. I know it's old. They probably still got Peekaboo in the store. This lip couture, um, not sure. Oh, L.A. Splash. I probably got this from Dollar General or Family Dollar. Can y'all tell I'm a nudie? I'm a nudie. This may have come from a makeup show or something. I don't even see the name on this. This is um, Tarte. And I'm surprised. I need to check the one that's in my purse because I'm surprised this went bad. And I have one of these in my purse. What I liked about these was how small they was. And my wristlet, if I'm ever out, out and about with the girls are just out and I need to put something on my lips, it does not take up much space in your bag at all. It's like half the size of a regular lip gloss. And I have one of these in my purse and I need to check it. Because I don't use it that often. Often it's an emergency. Bite. Now, Bite was in um, Sephora. This has gotten... Can y'all see how dust, how sticky lint and stuff is on that i don't know why that got like that the packaging has gotten gross the pa i don't i have three bite lipsticks and i love bite lipsticks but the packaging it is y'all can y'all see the hairs off of it i don't know why it got like that i don't know if bite is still around i think bite beauty is still around but they need to do something about their packaging because I can't pull this out and use it. I don't even know. The lipsticks might not be bad, but the packaging. Um, This is Urban Decay. This is another nudie. This is Stark Naked. And I have three ColourPop. ColourPop is in Ulta. I loved when these came out because um, they're lipsticks, but they're very creamy lipsticks. They're very creamy lipsticks. So I love when these came out. But they are all no good or just need to be gone. So I found all of those while I was cleaning up. So going to do the big girl thing and trash them. Put them all in this box and I'm going to trash them. I got like 300 left, so... This is a milestone for me, though. Y'all know I don't get rid. I don't. It's a milestone for me. This is. I'm, I'm. I'm evolving. I'm evolving, and I am actually going to throw lipsticks and lip glosses in the garbage. The garbage.
All right, y'all. I still got to do better with this um, phone case. I'm just leaving Costco. Use my little tool here to put my card in the machine. So I apologize for the. I just bought this phone holder and I got to try to figure it out. But I usually use pliers. Um, but I was gifted this card holder, two of them. So I just used it for the first time and it was awesome. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, let me get out of the way. Oh, let me turn off my Bible app. Let me get out of the way for somebody to blow at me. Hold on, y'all. Come on, I said stop. Because I want to do this blog. And like I said, forgive me that I'm not all the way in the picture. I just bought this phone holder. So I'm going to have to kind of play with it or see what I can do with it. I hate to return it because it's cute. So I was on social media. Let me find him. Because I saved it just for y'all. This is not my post, but this is a how would you react? So y'all can see it there. How would you react? There's a pregnant girl and a dude. How would you react if your significant other posted this about you? So the dude posted this about his pregnant girl. And he said, you may not be the hottest person I've ever been with or the smartest or the funniest. You might suck in bed. You might not be the best partner, but I love you because you love me to many more years together. I'm gonna let y'all process that for a minute. Cause this nut job says she ain't the hottest, the smartest, the funniest. She's sucking bed, not even the best partner, but he loves her because she loves him. First of all, even though I'm seeing that with my two eyes and my glasses, that has to be fake. It has to be fake. The reason why I say it has to be fake is because there is absolutely no way on God's green earth. Uh, first of all, that he felt comfortable posting that. Second of all, that she has not put him six feet under. I, I, it can't be real. Let me see what some of the comments say. This, this, it cannot be real. It just can't be. It can't be real. I. Somebody said it looked fake. They don't trust it. The picture. If you could really, really see the picture, the picture looked cropped. Um, she does look like she may be a man and not a woman. I'm not sure. Or she's, pre I don't know. Anyway, somebody else said that. And I thought that at the first time too, but she's, um, pregnant. Um, that, this is crazy. I, I, the, even the comments, this is crazy. She just gave him a license to cheat. Throw it all away, throw the post away, throw the makeup away, throw the nerve away, throw the man away, throw the mirror away. That's what somebody said. That may not his be his baby. Somebody said that may not be his baby. So he, but you know, you just, you know, here's my thing. Y'all know I'm not big on humiliating people on social media, even on videos. Don't come on my video trying to come for me or humiliate me. Number one, I'm coming back. Number two, I'm gonna block you. My life is none of your business. So I don't believe in humiliating people through social media, bullying people, humiliating people, treat people the wrong kind of way. I don't believe in that. At the end of the day, people are who they are. Not everybody's the same. Not everybody looks the same. Not everybody has the same privileges as everybody else. But for you to be my man and to post something like that, dude, that has to be fake. That has, somebody posted that for attention or something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But that has to be fake. Like, no. No, she's not even here for it. You know what I'm saying? And you have to be careful, even though I feel like that's a little bit overdrawn. I mean, he even went to the bedroom on social media. That's what y'all get. Stop putting everything on social media. Everything does not need to go on social media, but people will never learn that. 
I cannot stress it enough. I don't care what you have for dinner. I really don't. I don't. Unless it was something really spectacular that I ain't seen in a year. I, I don't care. I don't care that you're on the toilet for the 15th time. I don't. You know. But he even went to the bedroom and said she suck your bed. But she pregnant. So obviously you sleeping with her. You said, see, I can't, I can't stand with me and do that. Y'all want to put a woman down. You want to get a side chick or another woman and talk about how bad your woman is or how bad your relationship is, but you still don't. I don't see you leaving that woman. If it's so bad, why you not leaving? If you're so unhappy, why you not leaving? Like, it's punk moves. Like, men are punks. And I don't mean that in a other type of way. I mean, men are punks. They're not what they used to be. Men are not men. Men are not solid. Men are not hardcore. Like, you don't like something or something. You act like we like everything about y'all. That's what killed me about men. Y'all act like y'all are so perfect. Y'all doing everything right. You think you good in bed every time? Who the hell you think you is? You think you don't get on my nerves? You think you don't snore? You think I don't get tired of seeing your flap or your wrinkle that just showed up? But people take... People take things of other people and use that as excuses. Women do it too. I'm not just knocking the men. More men do it than women, but women do it too. You want to sit right here and be talking bad about the person you with or having a, I guess, sneaky link or whatever. You ain't perfect. You ain't perfect. If you're not happy in a situation, get out of the situation. What you coming to me for trying to holler at me saying, oh, I got an old lady, but she do this and she do that, but I ain't going to leave because we got kids. You sound stupid. Oh, I ain't going to leave. You've been together 10 years. You might as well leave if you stepping out. You sound stupid. But in this post, you telling me this woman has nothing to offer you. Nothing. Not even a good partner. He said she wasn't even a good partner. That's why this has to be fake. But my message to you guys is be careful. Because some men will love you just because you love them. Will be with you just because you love them. He, he cannot even be in love with her to embarrass her like that. Y'all need to learn, too. There's a difference between loving somebody and being in love with somebody. To embarrass her like that, he's not in love with her. She's not the one. But he's loving her because she's tolerating him. Because she loves him. Because he can't get nobody else right now. We don't know if he ain't got no teeth. I gotta look and see if he's smiling. He probably ain't got no teeth. He probably ain't got no job. He probably a shrimp. He probably uh, don't have good hygiene. He probably don't pick up after himself. It's very dirty. Like, let me tell y'all something. Peep this too. Peep this now. Peep this. Bring your camera. Turn your volume up. I'm gonna give y'all a minute to turn your volume up and bring your camera in closer. Peep this. Men that do all they complaining about what they woman ain't doing for them, please believe it's because he ain't doing something. See, one thing about a woman, we're nurturers. We're emotional creatures. We're going to bend over backwards for you until you ain't doing what we're requiring of you. You want a woman to come home, cook, clean, massage your feet, cut your toenails, and give you a pedicure. But you ain't catering to her. You ain't even coming home on time. You ain't even got a good paycheck. You not giving her a massage. You not telling her, take the night off from cooking. Let's order something or let's go out to eat. Stop believing these men when they complain about their woman. If they woman ain't doing something, it's because he ain't doing what is required of him to be done. Because y'all know, y'all women, y'all know y'all done done all kinds of crap for a man that didn't deserve it or did deserve it. And when you stop doing that stuff, it's because he ain't, you know, he don't, you feel like he don't deserve, he ain't doing what he's supposed to do. So you got to be real careful. You got to be very extremely careful. When you meet a man and talk about all this stuff a woman ain't doing for him, it's a reason. Now you file for the okie doke and her problem become your problem because that's all gonna, that's going to happen is her problem going to become your problem. But for him 
to even go to she's not even a good partner that means in nothing nothing it's 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 got to be fake y'all it's got to be fake a lot of stuff on social media is fake that's got to be fake because at the end of the day negro first of all negro you ain't finna post nothing that about me you better find a better post than that you ain't finna post not now read none of that about me you 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 it none of that none of that none of that not either you might be the hottest person no i'm the hottest person that you with right now <clears throat> i'm the hottest person that you with right now no no smartest and funniest is he even smart is he even smart While you around here talking about, I may not be the smartest and funniest. Is you smart and funny? People are requiring stuff of people that they don't even have. You want me to make up for where your, your mother and father fell short? You want me to make up for the things that you're unable to, to do? You want me to make up for your short, shortcomings? Cha, cha, cha. Can y'all please call the law? Call the law. Call the law. Let me show y'all something. I'm gonna flip this camera around if I can do it before anything happens. This girl, whoever this is, has their purse. Her purse out here on the back of this scooter. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to get it together so she come out the stove. Hold on. I'm trying to go so fast. I'm dropping everything. Look, y'all. Look. Now, when they come, steal her purse. Let me ask y'all something. Do y'all think God made everybody? Do y'all think God, because they say God don't make no mistakes. Do y'all think God made everybody? Because cause he couldn't have made nobody that dumb. I'm at the ATM, y'all. He couldn't have made nobody that dumb. He could not have made nobody that dumb to lead a purse. Oh, wait a minute. To leave their purse on the back of that thing like that, y'all. Let me do this ATM. Okay, guys. So I went to the outlet, and even though it says they don't have it on lot, they did have the strawberry book. So I'm going to put my um. I think I'm going to put the flower book on Macari or Poshmark without the inside because I've already written on the inside. But they did have the strawberry book and I like the strawberry better than the other one. And I have one more of these that I haven't used yet. I forgot what was on it. But don't if you have an outlet store near you, don't just go by what's online because they be lying. Um, I got some more of the fragrance oils that I like to put in my house. I have a whole bunch of these, but I needed um, another one, especially for my room. Um, I went to Starbucks with a friend, so I got a cake pop and it is melting. So I'm gonna go put it in the fridge right quick. But yeah, I went in there, I, something was like, let me just go in the outlet and see if they have, um, the darn notebook and they do but online it says they don't so and i also got don't mind my coffee from earlier my mangoes so our outlet sells cut up mangoes and this is salt pepper vinegar lime and seasoning salt that's the mixture i got you can make your own combination all kinds of combinations you can make your own combination of mangoes that's what I got this time. They didn't give me that much juice. So I'm going to pour some more vinegar in here and put this in the fridge because I like it a little cold. And I like my mangoes um, kind of green because I don't really finish this in one setting. 
So I don't like to get really ripe mangoes because it may take me like two days to eat them. So I tell them to give me like really green mangoes. And then I may eat some tonight and finish it tomorrow. But I'm going to put it in the fridge for a while. I want this vinegar and seasoning to really set in there. And it's going to be so good. If you know, you know.